Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. In today's video, I'm diving into a highly anticipated NBA matchup between the Charlotte Hornets and the Milwaukee Bucks. I'll be sharing my expert insights, breaking down the money line pick, the spread, and the total game pick. Plus, I'll give you my projections for points scored by three key players in this game. So, sit tight and let's break it all down. I will start with my team pick, Charlotte Hornets, to cover the spread. The Hornets have shown they can score in bunches, especially with the stellar performances from Brandon Miller, 38 points, and LaMelo Ball, 35 points, in their last game. While they're not an elite team, their offense has been more productive than expected, averaging 110.1 points per game. Milwaukee, on the other hand, has been inconsistent defensively, giving up 112.2 points per game. On top of that, with Giannis dealing with an injury and the Bucks coming off a back-to-back, -back, there's a real chance that they won't be firing on all cylinders. Giannis' limited minutes could also impact Milwaukee's ability to cover a bigger spread. Given Charlotte's offensive firepower and the Bucks' defensive struggles, I like the Hornets to keep it close and cover. Now for the total go with under 224 points. This total is a bit high, considering both teams playing styles and trends this season. While the Hornets can put up points, they've struggled defensively, but Milwaukee has been more focused on slowing the game down this season. The Bucks are 10-5 to to the under this year, and with a back-to-back -back on schedule, they'll likely take a more controlled approach to conserve energy. Additionally, both teams play at relatively slow paces. Charlotte at 20th in the league, and Milwaukee just slightly ahead at 18th, so the overall number of possessions should be lower, which makes the under solid play here. In conclusion, the Hornets have the tools to keep it close, especially with Giannis potentially limited, while both teams playing styles suggest a lower scoring game. That's why the Hornets to cover and the under at 224 points are your best bets for this matchup. Now for the money line, taking the Milwaukee Bucks money line could still be a solid choice for a few reasons, despite the potential concerns with the back-to-back -back and Giannis injury. Giannis on Tetacumpo. While Giannis may be dealing with an injury, when he's on the floor, he's an absolute game-changer. Even if he's not 100%, his presence alone forces defenses to adjust. With his ability to dominate both ends of the floor, he can still lead the Bucks to a win, especially against a team like Charlotte that has struggled defensively. Strong supporting cast, the Bucks have a deep roster with players like Damian Lillard, who can create his own offense and run the show, and Brooke Lopez, who has been stepping up as a reliable scorer and defender. Even without Giannis at his best, Milwaukee still has more star power and experience than the Hornets, making them more likely to secure the win. Charlotte's defensive struggles. While the Hornets can score, they've been allowing 114.5 points per game this season, which ranks near the bottom of the league. The Bucks have the offensive firepower to exploit Charlotte's defensive weaknesses, even if they're not at full strength. Milwaukee is capable of putting up big numbers, and with Charlotte's defense being inconsistent, the Bucks should be able to outscore them. Milwaukee's overall talent. Despite a few bumps along the way this season, the Bucks are still one of the more talented teams in the NBA, especially when Giannis and Lillard are both playing. The Bucks have the experience and the ability to adjust in close games, something the Hornets haven't proven they can do consistently. So, while there are some factors that make this a tricky game, the Bucks still have the superior roster, and with a rested Giannis or even a limited version of him, they have enough to overcome Charlotte. Taking Milwaukee on the money line makes sense because, at the end of the day, their talent and depth should win out. Now for my points scored by players, I will be taking Brooke Lopez to score over 11.5 points in this game is a solid pick for several reasons. Lopez's role as a scorer. While Giannis may be the primary focus of Milwaukee's offense, Brooke Lopez has been playing a key offensive role, especially as a stretch five and a reliable secondary scorer. He's averaging double digits in points this season and is often called upon to provide scoring especially in matchups where the defense is focused on Giannis or Damian Lillard. With Charlotte's defense struggling to contain multiple offensive threats, Lopez should get plenty of opportunities to score. 
Charlotte's defensive weaknesses. The Hornets are one of the worst defensive teams in the league, allowing 114.5 points per game. They're particularly vulnerable against big men who can stretch the floor, and Lopez fits that mold perfectly. With Lopez being a solid three-point shooter, 36% from deep, he should have ample opportunities to exploit Charlotte's defense, particularly from beyond the arc or on pick-and-roll situations. Recent scoring trends, Lopez has been playing some of his best basketball offensively, scoring 21 points in the Bucks' last win over Chicago. With Giannis potentially limited or sharing the offensive load, Lopez could see an uptick in scoring opportunities, particularly as a floor spacer and pick and pop threat. He's capable of going off for big scoring numbers when the matchup is right, and Charlotte's defense offers that opportunity. Matchup favorability. Charlotte's defense has had trouble containing scoring from multiple sources, particularly when it comes to big men. Lopez, with his ability to both stretch the floor and finish around the rim, presents a matchup nightmare for the Hornets. They simply don't have the personnel to handle both Lopez's inside game and his three-point shooting, which could help him surpass 11.5 points with relative ease. Milwaukee's need for scoring depth. In a game where the Bucks are looking to win despite potential limitations with Giannis, scoring contributions from other players like Lopez are essential. The Bucks will need to rely on more than just their superstar, and Lopez, who has proven to be a reliable option, will be crucial in providing that secondary scoring. In summary, Brooke Lopez has been consistently contributing to the Bucks' offense, especially in matchups like this where Charlotte's defensive weaknesses could give him easy opportunities. His ability to score both inside and beyond the arc, combined with the Hornets' struggles to defend big men, makes him a strong candidate to exceed 11.5 points. Taking Brandon Miller to score under 21.5 points could be a smart pick for the following reasons. Inconsistent scoring. While Miller had an incredible 38-point performance in Charlotte's last game against Detroit, that was a bit of an outlier. While he's been solid, he's not consistently putting up those types of numbers. His scoring tends to fluctuate, and against a stronger defensive team like Milwaukee, it could be difficult for him to replicate that kind of performance. The Bucks have a solid defense, especially in the paint, where Miller likes to operate. Milwaukee's defensive strengths. The Bucks have a top-tier defender in Drew Holiday, who could be tasked with guarding Miller. Holiday is one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, and his ability to limit opposing scorers could make life tough for Miller. With Giannis also patrolling the paint, Miller might find it more difficult to get to the basket and score efficiently, especially with the attention Milwaukee can devote to limiting him. Charlotte's offensive scheme. While Miller has shown he can carry the scoring load, Charlotte still has other offensive weapons like LaMelo Ball and Gordon Hayward, who also need their share of the ball. In a game where the offense is more spread out, it's less likely Miller will see enough touches to score 22-plus points, especially if Milwaukee focuses on taking away his easiest scoring opportunities. In summary, while Brandon Miller has shown flashes of brilliance, especially in his last game, facing a tough defensive team like the Milwaukee Bucks will likely make it difficult for him to surpass 21.5 points. With strong defenders on him, a more balanced offensive scheme, and the Bucks' ability to focus on limiting his impact, taking the under on 21.5 points is a solid bet. Also taking Grant Williams to score under 13.5 points in this matchup makes sense for several key reasons. Limited offensive role, Grant Williams is a solid role player but his scoring is typically inconsistent, and he's not the go-to option on offense for Charlotte. While he may contribute as a secondary scorer, he's usually not the one to take over a game. With LaMelo Ball and Brandon Miller taking on the primary scoring duties, Williams often finds himself relegated to a more limited role, especially in a game against a strong defensive team like the Bucks. His offensive output tends to rely on spot-up shooting or secondary opportunities, both of which could be limited in this matchup. In conclusion, Grant Williams is unlikely to hit 14 points in a game against a defense as stout as Milwaukee's. With limited offensive opportunities, strong individual defenders focused on other players, and a slower-paced game that doesn't favor him, taking the under on 13.5 points for Williams is a smart play.